All right, so as we continue with local stories, there's an iconic Lake Area Bridge that's open to the public. And Chris, I didn't know anything about Greens Mill Bridge, but apparently it's up and coming. Yeah, you know, I think it's over by J Road because this is the old bridge that used to go over the Niangua and they've replaced the old bridge with the new J Road Bridge, but they're trying to do some special things with this and it's pretty cool, really. Yeah, it's no longer serviceable for modern traffic, which bypasses the old bridge through the new one on Route J, uh, but it's great for waterside picnics, family pictures, unique location for small events. Uh, it's a historic and beautiful spot that's gonna continue to get better. Now there's a Green Mills Historic Bridge, Inc., and it was formed by concerned citizens mm -hmm. who banded together back in 18, and the bridge became available for reuse. The bridge actually worked with MoDOT's historic uh, preservation division to take ownership in March of 23. Now we talked about I this. I kind of remember that I too, do too, yeah. but I didn't realize this was the bridge. Uh, now the group has committed to MoDOT. They're gonna complete their plan in five years. And this according to marketing coordinator, Lynetta Knutson, a primary goal is to get the Green Mill Bridge on the National Register of Historic Places. And it's eligible for listing because get this, it's one of only four self-anchored suspension bridges in America. Pretty cool. And this, this Knutson lady got married there a couple yeah. years ago. They had some family events there. It's really gonna be a cool place uh, look into it because it's pretty neat. Yeah, and they're currently drawing up the application process to get it uh, recognized by the National Register of Historic Places. And it's a step-by-step -step process and they've got big dreams and aspirations including uh, a courtyard with benches made out of engraved bricks, new paint for the bridge, walkways, an added fence, and a bat and butterfly habitat. So that's kind of really cool. cool. Yeah, and apparently the paint is the big expensive thing, painting that whole bridge. So they need some help with that, obviously. And the big question is like, how do I get there? Where is it? And yeah. so access to the bridge from the water, it'll be offered as a destination for painters, photographers, and astronomers to come out where their life or light population. So actually it doesn't really tell you where it's at, but the Greens Mill Bridge is the old bridge that went over the little Niangua arm and uh, off of J Rose. So yeah. 